So I thought I'd put together a comparison video showing the original Evershower here on the left versus the new Monsoon Evershower here on the right. I'll go through the upgrades that have been done, but essentially the frame and the tent um, are pretty much the same. So we can see here that the lid is new. It's like a roto molded plastic made to look like a metal. With these elastics that attach to the toggles on the side of the tub here. The tub itself is a new design and is heavier, giving the unit uh, a bit more stability, I think. Seems to be a better quality material as well and heavier. So the whole unit here is eight kilos and the original was six. You can see with the original it had the cloth over the top with the press studs. And the accessories and the bags that they come in haven't really changed. Um, with the new one, you get a washing line and the addition of this plug where you can attach a hose and drain the water out the back of the unit. It's also important to note when you're attaching your tent, make sure you attach it with the drain plug at the back so that you don't have to readjust it. Um, this is a really nice new addition. I like this. You're not standing in dirty water or draining it at the bottom of the unit like in the original you can see the material in the tub is different it's like a shiny lighter plastic and this is more like a matte heavier duty we come in here you can see the drain port there at the bottom and at the back i really like that new addition uh the tent still attaches with um, velcro to the d-rings exactly the same as the original one and the pump now is stainless steel and 30 litres per minute. And that is a huge amount of water going through the pump. So you'll have a shower very much like you would have at home, I think. The hose is heavy duty and attaches with a Velcro tab instead of to hooks. I'll show you that in a second. And comes up to a really nice rain shower. It's like a high flow shower rose there. It's quite different to the six liters per minute of the original, which is still pretty good actually. And you can buy that, that unit separately on the website for $70. So the monsoon shower kit to put in your original ever shower to upgrade it. You can see the hooks there and the attachment point is the same. So subtle differences. We come around, you can see on the new one, this is a high quality inline switch with a really good quality 12 volt plug there. And we will just put that um, in the socket at the back of the Nissan Navara. It has a, has a 12 volt socket in the tub and the car doesn't have to be running. You're not gonna run the battery flat when you have a shower. Uh, it's, it doesn't use much. So the handle's changed a little bit. It's the original one. Still D-rings on the side in case of windy conditions and you can put pegs. That's the back. Another difference on the new Ever Shower seems to be the way that the tent fits more snugly into the tub. You can see on the original there. And inside the corners at the top have been reinforced so this must have been a bit of a weak point 